my name is rohit kumar and today we are back with another data set information that is mimic so the mimic stands for medical information mart for intensive care and as the name itself conveys the meaning that uh, this particular data set is going to give you or offer you the useful information about the medical patients and uh, this is not uh, just a simple or single data set it's a kind of uh, at the website only means at the home page uh, you can see that mimic is offered by the mit.edu and uh, this particular uh, page offers you a kind of information mart means there are variety of data sets which are available and you can use them according to your use now specifically they are focusing the intensive care so freely available medical data for research is their motto and uh, the related documentation is available over here the link for getting started the basic uh, how to proceed and all everything is provided here then coming to the code of uh, the um, uh, project then you can have the github link over here then coming to the components so the mimic 4 is separated into different modules and reflect the provenance of the data that uh, provenance uh, is has been proved over the period of time and uh, mimic 4 is a, a kind of uh, development with respect to you know, different variants as you can see that mimic 3 was also there so mimic 3 was the older version of mimic and it contains an older uh, group of patients uh, and it was entered in 2012 2012 then the subset of the icu and the hospitalization information was available in mimic 4 so here you can see that mimic 4 it is the core so this is a, a this particular uh, stream or this particular subset of the data set includes the demography of the patients then the admission tracking and uh, the information related to the different related components which are core to the mimic then coming to the second part which is mimic for hosp so it includes the hosp module uh, containing the wide electronic health record and uh, all these records include different sorts of uh, microbiological culture and the information services and the different diagnosis and the processors which have been adopted coming to the third part which is the mimic for icu so this module contains the information collected from the clinical information system and obviously this is a kind of high granular system because uh, it includes the r to r vital sciences so depending on the granularity and here they are talking about the time granularity so the people who are interested in granular or the time granular data they can go for this coming to the ed part so here it is the emergency department patients data and uh, there they do have some of the vital science information the consolation and the treatment related information of the patients so if you are interested in the emergency data of uh, the patients then you can go and you can have a look at mimic 4 ed coming to the next part mimic 4 cxr so it is the chest x-ray related images and the radiology reports so, so as you must have been uh, familiar with the, these two terms the x-ray and the radiology those are very widely popular in medical um, uh, domain and uh, obviously so much research is going on within these two domains so if you are interested particularly in x-ray images examination or some sort of uh, classification based on those images then you can go for this coming forward so here we have the mimic 4 note and this includes the clinical notes for hospitalized patients so, so every uh, patient who gets hospitalized in a hospital they do have some clinical history and the related notes are prepared just to, to have a kind of record of that particular patient so if you are interested into that particular sort of uh, mining with respect to text then you can go for that so these are different components with respect to mimic and uh, hopefully uh, it is not just a simple uh, data set here if we open the mimic core just click on it and it will take you to the core I mean, okay perhaps they have removed the link mimic for hosp yeah it is working so core uh, link is not working might be down or uh, might have been removed it depends again that uh, what sort of things are going in the back end because many times uh, due to the upgradation process or sometimes uh, due to the regular maintenance activities these things happen now coming to the host part so here you can see that different sorts of tables and the processors are listed over here so it is just one part okay then again you have the second icu then the ed x-ray note and the older version of mimic so all these things are available over here and so many different links and the related information has already been provided
so hopefully uh, you will go into the details based on your research interest and you will find all the details coming to the uh, conclusion of the topic so i will recommend that firstly go to the, go through the documentation and then obviously it becomes very easy after documentation that how to start with and uh, the github link is provided over here so if you're interested in any of the practical or the code related information that you can find at github so that's all for this particular video hope oh, you must have liked it and uh, if you didn't like it please do comment below and let me know that what are the things that we can improve to improvise the level or the quality of the videos further thanks for watching happy learning